Are you a CAT or computer applications technology student? Then you really need to watch this video as a way to prepare yourself for your upcoming PAT. I'm going to talk about some resources that can help you with your PAT. And you ideally want to have these resources before you start your PAT so that you can get all the benefits of using them. There are three very important documents that you need when you are doing your PAT or your practical assessment task. The first one is obviously your PAT document, but I'm going to tell you about a PAT guide and a progress tracker which you can download to help you. The first and most important document is going to be your actual PAT learner's guidelines. And here you'll have all the instructions about what you need to do for your PAT. This is 2024's document, but you will obviously get the one that's relevant for your year. Yeah, it'll go through all of the requirements, what you need to do. It'll go through the topic. If you want me to explain Explain the topic and to give you some really good advice then I suggest that you go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat and go check out the Cat Pat Tips and Hints playlist it'll probably be on the front page and the very first video will be the topic discussion and how to get started here's the video for 2024 but if you're in a different year then I really recommend you go find the year that relates to your particular pet so this is a very important document and one of the most important parts if I scroll down right to the bottom is the rubric. The rubric is going to be a very beneficial part of the patch. I highly recommend that you are at the end of each phase going through the rubric, ticking off everything you've done. Mark your patch yourself as if you were the teacher so that you can see where you are getting your marks. And if you are leaving anything out, if there's something that you've left out, then go back and make sure that you've completed that before you submit it. So use this rubric to guide you on what you need to do and make sure that you hit all of the marks and that's for every phase phase one two and three the next most important document is the pat guide for cat this is my guide which i've made for all of you in conjunction with claire smuts's youtube channel computer application technology and this is a document that will give you hints and tips on how to approach the different phases you can download it at tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Pat Guard Cat. And then you can download this to your own computer or to your phone and have access to all the links that are in this document. For example, we'll talk later about the progress tracker, but you can download that. And here you can see which page to go to for each phase. So for example, the phase one, there's some video tips on how to get started in general tips. And then a really clear and concise step-by-step -step video tutorial about how to approach each part of the phase one report document. Document. These ones are by Claire Smuts. She really does a great job of explaining it. So I suggest you go through that. And then at the end, you have a nice little checklist where you can write down, this is the due date. And you can say, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that to make sure that you've done everything. Phase two, you need to do a questionnaire or survey and your spreadsheet and database. Yeah, we give you advice on how to prepare and how to plan for your questionnaire. And if you are going to use a Google Doc, then there's some videos to show you how to use Google Docs, including getting your responses. And if you're going to use a Microsoft form, there's a video there to recap Microsoft Forms to help you. And here's another video on how to create a shortened URL, which you can send to your friends easily for them to fill out your survey or questionnaire. Then we've got some great tips on the spreadsheet, on the database, and then you're done with your phase two. You can make sure that you've checked off your list. What you've done, have you got everything? Are you getting all the marks? And then phase three again, completing your report and then followed by some nice tips about the layout of your website. Final checklist to make sure that you've got everything so that you can maximize all the marks. So this is the PAT guide. Make sure that you download it and make sure that you have it available. If you're not sure of how to do a particular phase or a particular instruction, then go watch those videos and they will are sure to help you with your PAT. Then the third document is the Cat PAT Progress Tracker. You can download it at tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Cat PAT Tracker. When you go to that link, it'll take you to something that looks like this. Now, this is the view only version. So you can't actually change this, but you want to get your own version that you can change for yourself. And to do that, it's as simple as going to file, go down to download and then click Microsoft Excel. And it may ask you then to save it in the particular folder that you want to put it in. And then you can just click save and you'll have your own version. If the dialog box did not pop up on your screen, then you can just go to this button in the top corner of your browser to go to your downloads. And then click on that folder icon to take you to where your downloads automatically get downloaded to. And then you'll have your own version of your progress tracker. And it's basically a document that's going to help you see where you are with your work to see what you still need to get done and to keep track of your progress. So let's take an example. You're going to fill in your details over here. You're going to change the handy date to whatever your teacher will give you. 
and each column represents a lesson in class that you are working on your pat so let's say on the 10th of february we've got a lesson in class your teacher says we want you to get started with your pat and and they say you should complete your folder structure and your report so you do your work for the lesson and that before the lesson ends you come over here and you say what did i do well i completed my folder structure so you can select the option and it's either worked on or completed well we completed it and then we're going to go to we created our report we did that as well and we did our headings today as well we didn't do the screenshot but we might have started at least our task definition but we didn't finish it so we say we worked on it but we didn't finish it the next lesson we're going to come over here and type in the date let's say on the 12th of february we don't need to do anything for this because those are completed but we're going to come here and we're going to say we completed our task definition and we completed our focus question and you may have completed your screenshot here uh, but we've started working on our research question so we just worked on that and then the next lesson we continue to work on the research question and so on so, on. so you're basically creating like what's called a nat chart where you can see your progress and when you've done different things that can guide you and that that you get everything done for your phase one your teacher might give you deadlines of where you want different parts of your path to be completed. You can fill that in there. If, and at the bottom here, if you want to use this to keep track of your work ethic, what you can do at the end of each lesson, rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 5 of how well you worked in that lesson. Let's say you really worked hard, so that was a 5. But in this lesson, you could have worked a bit better, so it's actually a 4. But in this lesson, you should have finished the research questions, but you were a bit distracted, so actually it's a 2. And you keep doing things like that. And you keep At the end of each lesson, you keep track of that. And and so ideally over here you can see what your work rate is it's an average of all the lessons that you've worked in ideally you want this to be above 80 percent you want to try to be hitting as many fives and fours as possible because the moment you get too many twos threes and ones or zeros even that means you're not working efficiently and you really want to up your efficiency to make sure that you, that you give yourself enough time to finish everything in the phase document and there are links down here if you forgot to get for example the pat guide or if you want to go to all the videos in the pat tips folder and just take note over here you'll see that your progress has a percentage so every time you complete something you'll notice that that percentage sign goes up so if i move it to complete there so we've completed more of our hat so the progress we want to get that as closer to 100 percent as we get to the end but this way you can also judge how much you still need to do it's not a 100 percent representation of the work so some of these require more work to get that extra 46 percent but it's still a good way to take note of how much you still need to get done and the bottom here you've got your different phases so here for example is phase two here we can see the progress for your questionnaire your spreadsheet and your database and you do the same thing are we going to work on this for today um, but we will finish it in the next lesson for example so you basically are going to keep track of your work and at the bottom here keep track of your work ethic and then there's one for phase three where you've got your report and your spreadsheet and then the last tab is just a whole bunch of links which you can use. We will be posting more videos about the PAT that can help you. It'll be on our YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe there and watch the shorts as well as on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, then go to at Mr. Long Education and follow us there. If you want a printable version of the progress trackers, for example, you want a physical copy that you can mark off, then you can go to that link, tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Cat Patch Tracker Print. And you'll get this printable version where you can color in the block once you've completed completed a particular section or you can put an x there to say that you are still working on it it'll give you a little guide over there you can actually mark off on a scale of 0 to 5 your work ethic and you can then see if that number is dipping too low or going to up and there's the phase one there's the phase two and there's the phase three in different documents so if you prefer a physical copy then this is the best one to use when you are printing it there we go get your pat document make sure you've downloaded the pat guide make sure that you've got your progress tracker put them in the relevant folders so that you can access them whenever you are working on your pat and you should have all the tools to help you succeed the only missing ingredient now is you putting in the work and i believe that you can do it and get as high a mark as you can for the pat but at the same time enjoy showing off all the things that you've learned in cat through this pat so good luck cat students with your pat to make sure that you don't miss another video where we give some pat tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Art and Cat. Also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.